Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to learn a two important electrochemical te uh, techniques, RDE and RRDE. RDE is a rotating disk electrode. RRDE is a rotating, uh, a rotating ring disk electrode. They are very important electrochemical techniques for uh, our research. They are also very important theory for the fundamental uh, electrochemistry. So today is the topic uh, mainly covered the brief review of the rate determining step, RDS. So we are going to uh, review the charge transfer process and the mass transfer process and electrochemical reaction. And then we are going to study the rotating disk electrode uh, from both theory and the application uh, perspectives. And last, we're going to uh, study the rotating ring disk electrode, uh, also from uh, theory and application uh, aspects. So now let's uh, give a brief review uh, about the rate determ determinating step of the electrochemical reaction. So for a typical electrochemical reaction, uh, the process uh, includes two key uh, steps. The first step is the uh, transport of the reactant species from the bulk electrolyte to the electrode surface. Uh, we call this step is mass transport. Afterwards, uh, the next step will be the transport of electrons across the electrode electrolyte interface to complete the electrochemical reaction. We call this step its charge transfer process. Either of these two steps are relatively slower. We call that step is a, a rate determinating step, RDS. For example, if the charge transfer uh, is slow, we call the charge transfer is a really continuous step. If the mass transfer uh, is slow, because the mass transfer is a growth uh, determinant step. And the first or slow of the charge transfer process related to the intrinsic property electrode and the reactant species, it also depends on the polarization condition of the electrode. If the electrode is under the weak, uh, weak uh, Polarization, <coughs> the potential uh, is uh, close to the here's an equilibrium state. So if the, the potential is uh, close to the uh, to close to equilibrium state, uh, the electrochemical reaction was really uh, controlled by the charge transfer. In this case, because there are not sufficient electrons supplied to the electrode or the electron uh, removal process from the electron is slow. So electron transfer in this case is slow. Yeah. The, 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 in this case, it will be the uh, track transfer actually. On the other hand, the mass transfer of the uh, reactant is uh, also related to the intrinsic property of the electron Electrolyte, elect, uh, reactant species and the electrolyte solution. For example, the viscosity or the diffusion coefficient of the reactants. Uh, reactant. mm. In addition to the intrinsic uh, properties, the polarization condition also impact the mass, uh, mass transfer. If the it's, it's not uh, impact the mass transport, it's uh, impact the charge, charge transfer. And then the relative uh, speed of the charge transfer and the mass, mass transfer will be different. If the electrode is under the high polarization condition, high polarization condition means uh, the, the voltage is far away from the far away from the equilibrium, for example, here or here. Far away from the Equilibrium. In this case, uh, the charge transfer will be relatively fast because once the, the, the reactant species come to the surface of the electrode, 
uh, it can either uh, get sufficient electrons from there, or the electrons from the reacting species can be quickly removed from the reacting species. In that case, <coughs> the the charge the charge tran transfer will be fast, and the mass transfer will be relatively slow, and the process is controlled by mass transfer. Now, uh, the question is, based on the information we shared just now on this slide about the rate determining step of electro electrochemical reaction, how to speed up? Do you have an idea about how to speed up the uh, electrochemical reaction? So you don't need to answer me right now. So it, it will be a homework uh, today. It's a homework one. <clears throat> uh, we, you need to uh, think about from the rate determ determinating step first, and then generally formulate the points to speed up electrochemical reaction. Okay, so today uh, we are going to focus on the uh, RDE and RRDE. They are both based on the mass transfer theory. For the mass transfer of the reactant species from the bulk electrolyte to the uh, to the surface electrode, there are three uh, three basic forms of this uh, mass transfer: the diffusion, convection, and migration. Diffusion of the reactant species is governed by the concentration gradient along the, the uh, in, in the electron. Convection uh, of the electrolyte is usually and uh, can be controlled by the mechanical forces or other type of the forces. For example, if, uh, we can stir the solution or we can apply the ultrasonic to the to the electrolyte solutions. The migration is usually referred to the ionic species in the electrolyte. Is governed by the potential uh, gradient and uh, potential gradient for the electrolyte. So now I have a question. <clears throat> so can we strat strategically manage the mass transfer of the reactive species in the uh, in the electrolyte? You don't have to. I will answer by myself. The answer is yes. The rotating disk electrode is designed to well control the mass transfer of the electron species on, on the surface electrode. This is a picture of the real rotating base electrode. So uh, the center dark area is the uh, is the electrode. The white uh, the white part is uh, just the in, in, insulating materials. So the red side, uh, uh, that figure on the red side shows the flow patterns of the rotating disk electrode um, when it it's rotate it's rotating uh, in the in the solution. <clears throat> the center part is the electrode uh, itself. It's usually uh, made of the uh, usually it's made of uh, with the inner uh, inner uh, metals or uh, 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 carbon materials. So, for example, the platinum, uh, gold, palladium, or silver, they are very inner and does not have any uh, reaction with, uh, with most of the uh, aqueous uh, solutions. Glassy carbon, the graphite, also was uh, a stable in electron materials. So uh, the selection of the material, the disk, uh, also depending on the uh, electrolyte system uh, we are going to study. The insulating uh, material is really made of the PTFE, the Teflon. It's very uh, stable uh, in the aqueous solution. Don't react with any, uh, with most of the aqueous solutions, uh, including the strong acid or strong base. Um, when the rotating disk uh, keep rotating in the solution and will cause a strong force convection uh, of the electron species. 
And in this case, the, uh, the mass transport can, uh, can be well controlled. And the diffusion and the migration of the raccoon species can be neglected because uh, they are very small in comparison to the actual force uh, applied to the solution, or comparison to the convection of the solution. <laughs> the theory of the rotating Dix electrode is based on the model we call the nurse diffusion layer model, uh, nurse diffusion layer model. Uh, it starts schematically demonstrated with uh, this uh, figure here. So with this model, it's uh, assumed there exists a thin uh, stationary layer.